Daily Bible Time. Good morning, it's Dominic Steele. It's Tuesday morning, the 30th of April, and uh, we're just looking at kind of introductory issues to Isaiah, new sermon series starting this Sunday at Village Church, and Isaiah chapter 1 this Sunday. And uh, so I'm just doing background reading for Isaiah, and it's really kind of bits that won't make it into the sermon. And uh, we were talking yesterday about um, the whole um, theme of the Messiah the dominant theme of the Messiah and seeing the Messiah first as, um, well, the king in uh, the early chapters, then as the suffering servant, and then as the anointed conqueror in the three different sections of Isaiah's prophecy. Other big motifs in the book of Isaiah are, well, the motif of the city, this dominant picture of the city of Jerusalem. And I'm following the uh, commentator Alec Mocha here in this big commentary he wrote over 30 years on the book of Isaiah. And uh, he notes Jerusalem first came into the traditions of the people of God with the person of Melchizedek back in Genesis um, and the recognition of his royal priesthood by Abraham. And then really there was nothing particularly significant about Jerusalem until the capture and the occupation of the city by David in 2 Samuel chapters 5 um, and his centralizing of the city in 2 Samuel 6 and really David's understanding of this city, this place as the place that the Lord chose. And then you get to Isaiah and well really Jerusalem is everything and um, this threat of losing Jerusalem and then the people of God being shifted off to Babylon and um, let me just give you a couple of lines from Mochi here. Um, the Isaiahic literature could be accurately described as the book of the city. To be sure, its scope is Judah and Jerusalem, but in its vision, the fate of Judah is sealed in the city and the restoration of the city is the restoration not merely of the people, but of the world. And Mocha says four strands of thinking in Isaiah are woven together in this use of the city motif in which Jerusalem, Zion, Mount, Mountain and City are broadly interchangeable terms. Divine judgment, preservation, restoration, the security of Zion and the security in Zion and the centrality of the city in divine thoughts and plans. But most striking, says Mocha, is this idea of the tale of two cities. And indeed, um, my friends Rod and Karen Morris wrote a commentary on Isaiah, a little Bible study commentary called The Tale of Two Cities. The ongoing history of the world produces a global society structured without God, a humanly made, human-centered city created by human cleverness for human salvation. Small beginnings in China are thus a microcosm of what the whole earth will be in the end and contemporaneous with this is the inevitable divine overthrow of that city um, and you have the city of god a new world constructed by god on his plan with himself at the center and from where, from where he reigns over a universe of righteousness and peace and uh, we see the central outworking of this idea in chapters 13 through 27 and uh, it is interesting to note that while chapters 40 to 55 share the city motif and are not lacking in world vision, the main links are between chapters 1 to 37 and 56 to 66. So that is Mocha on the imagery of the city in Isaiah. Thanks for joining us on Daily Bible Time. Look forward to your company tomorrow morning. God bless.